Welcome back to Local for Today. Time now, 637. In your Wellness Wednesday, Shannon Frank joining us not. here. And we're talking about easy bowls to make. And we can do them for, for breakfast, for supper, for our families. First, let's start out with um, this one we have in the middle. And right. This would be like more of your breakfast bowl. But this right. is like kind of power grains is what we're right. really talking right. about, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, these are just great ways to be able to use up whatever you have in your refrigerator. So sure. um, they all have like a grain base to them. So for the breakfast bowl, we use barley, actually, instead of okay. using like a traditional oatmeal. Um, and grains freeze really easy. So you can make a big batch of them, throw them in your freezer, pull out a little bit at a time whenever you need them. So we just put barley at the bottom, um, layered in a little bit of um, vanilla yogurt, and then put whatever fruit that you happen to have on hand. So. Mm -hmm. um, just a real well-balanced breakfast, something that's going to stick with you for a really long time. Right. That's always important, especially for mm -hmm. those kids, you know, and sometimes it can be so quick to do everything mm -hmm. in the morning. There's a lot going on. It seems like a nice, easy thing to kind of whip up. Right. Fast. Yep, absolutely. And then we just topped it with a little bit of sliced almonds for a little bit of crunch and, again, a little bit more protein and, and those types of things. So. Exactly. And now yeah. moving on to the bigger bowls yeah. here, um, we can start over here. Sure. So this one is an Asian flair. Um, so it, we just used a little bit of chopped cabbage on the bottom um, mm -hmm. and like the bag salad mixes work really well for those because those are more of like a cabbage base typically. Sure. Some shredded carrots, some edamame, I like a little bit of um, some type of bean with it just because again extra protein, a lot right. of extra fiber with it, red peppers, some grilled shrimp that was left over. Mm -hmm. We use wild rice for this one and then a okay. little bit of cilantro just cilantro. for uh, a burst of flavor and okay. then sprinkled some sesame seeds. I on would top have of never it. thought of cilantro mm -hmm. for um, kind of an Asian flavored right. bowl, but that's very neat. Yeah. And then this last one here, this yeah. looks really yummy too. So this one we just use regular sp baby spinach on the bottom, it has tomato, avocado, black beans. Um, we use quinoa for the grain for that one and um, then just topped it with a little bit of leftover sliced peppers that we'd use and some um, chopped up um, steak. Sure. Okay, so yeah, like you said, you can kind of just throw a Whatever. lot of these different recipes. Whatever you ha kind of have right, kind of right. works, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, and that's the, the beauty of them is that it's different every time that you make them. Um, and it, again, just a great way to use up whatever is in your refrigerator so you don't have so much food waste. Mm -hmm. And then you can probably cater it to, say we've got those picky eaters. Mm -hmm. I myself have a couple of them at home. Yeah, so um, you can kind of make them any which way right. and make them yourself. That's right. kind of what we do. We'll put yeah. our own on each plate. Yeah, yeah. Bowl, so. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, very neat. So, you know what? These look great and um, just a perfect way to kind of um, help our family keep them full, especially mm -hmm. the morning one. Right. It kind of helps us along and then right. easy uh, dinner ones as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, great stuff here. Thank you so much, yes, Shannon. My pleasure. All right, stick with us. We have more coming oh, up after one. the break.